Hello guys, Beast here and in this episode we will understand what is compiler and what is IDE, so stay tuned. As we know from previous tutorial, the compiler is a special program that processes statements written in a particular programming language and turns them into machine language. Now it does a couple of things before converting your program into machine language. It checks for syntax error. So what is syntax error? To understand it better, imagine an English sentence, the boy eating an apple. And now you run the compiler. First, it might give you an error, first letter should be capital. So you go and fix that. So now the sentence is, the boy eating an apple. Then you compile it again. And it gives you another error, stating it found an error in the word eating. It would tell you something like, you can't use the word eating like that. So you change it to was eating or ate an apple, depending on what you want to say. The compiler checks for syntax error so it knows how to convert it to machine language. The compiler doesn't care if you tell the story right or wrong. It just makes sure you say it grammatically right. Basically, he acts as a translator. Imagine I am a translator and you tell me the boy eating an apple. I might ask you, what do you mean? The boy is eating an apple? If you say yes, then I would translate it as you asked me to translate it, even if you meant to say was eating. My job is translator, not a truth detector. And that's exactly what the compiler does. It doesn't care about your story, it just wants correct grammar. But it also checks for semantics, which means in our human language, we can have sentences that can mean more than one thing. But in coding, we can't have such a thing as the computer wouldn't know what to do. As we already know, computer's language is zeros and ones. So imagine your sentence can either mean zero or one. The computer wouldn't know what to do there. Is it zero? Is it one? What? For example, if we add the sentence, the man is eating an apple, after the sentence, the boy is eating an apple. And then I tell you, he is eating an apple. Now the word he can either re refer to the boy or the man which in computer language, this must not happen. So the compiler would ask you, who do you want the word he to refer to? So he can translate it to the computer. In which case you might replace the word he with the word boy, or you can add the word boy between parentheses so there would be no confusion. So now after you have corrected everything the compiler gave you an error for, it can proceed to convert your code to the machine language so you don't have to write all the binary language by yourself. If you remember the long phrase hello world from the previous tutorial, imagine you don't have to deal with all those zeros and ones, instead the compiler does it for you. Beautiful, isn't it? Of course there are more complicated stuff, but who cares, right? It's the compiler's job, not ours. Okay, now after we've understood the compiler, what compiler is, let's see what IDE is. It stands for Integrated Development Environment. IDE is a software application that provides comprehensive facilities to computer programmers for software development. An IDE normally consists of a source code editor, build automation tools, and a debugger. Most modern IDEs have intelligent code compilation as well. Okay, so after all these fancy words, like what, what, what is IDE, right? So when you hear about names like Codeblocks, NetBeans, BlueJ, Dev, C++, Eclipse, these are all IDE names, IDE softwares. But still, you, what, what, what is IDE? So let's give you, I, I'm going to give you an example of what IDE is, so you would understand when you hear the word IDE, what does it mean really? So there are all development software for you to code in. They make it way easier to code with tools to help make your coding easier. That's why for each programming language you choose to code with, you can find more than one IDE, and you just choose the one you are most comfortable with. 
It's exactly as you choose your favorite ice cream or favorite chocolate. You choose your favorite IDE where you want to write your code in. Well, that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully it helped you and you can start your journey in computer science with motivation and enthusiasm. If you found it helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to get notified when my next video is up. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask in the comment section below and I'll try my best to answer your questions. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. See ya.